Today I'm looking at a new smart fitness band which is the V10 by Beaky and this only came out this month and I received it a few days ago so I've had some time to play around with it and what's really impressed me with like the budget this budget tracker is that even though it's only $30 you get a lot of functionality um, of course it's got your usual tracking um, fitness steps Hang on, let me go through some of these. And calories and heart rate and, you know, everything else. But what really sold this to me was the fact that this does continuous heart rate tracking. So I remember this is only $30 and this does every half hour for 24 hours of a day. This will log and check your heart rate. And also one of the newer features that these new Fit bands tend to have is blood pressure monitoring. Um, I'm not sure how useful blood pressure monitoring actually is, but it's a nice feature and it works well. Um, as I've been using this fitness band, I wanna go through um, an in-depth review, so this will take some time to go through all of the functionality. So at the moment you can see I'm running the blood pressure and uh, heart rate sensing like of a manual mode, but as we go through the uh, review, I will show you the, the app and uh, how well that actually tracks everything. So I've been looking at getting a new fitness band um, for a little while now. Um, I've been quite curious to see how much technology has changed since something like the uh, the Mi Band 2. So if you've got one of these or thought about getting a you know a replacement, you think you know I want to spend a little bit more money. I want to get you know continuous heart rate sensing. You know the Apple Watch can do it. Why can't Android Wear? Um, you know you have. Android Wear, this costs like 10 times the price um, and doesn't have continuous heart rate sensing. Um, so if you have a Mi Band or think about getting one of these, um, I strongly suggest getting the V10 instead. Um, so if you want to compare it to like for size, um, I'm quite impressed by how slim this the V10 actually is by comparison, which you can see here. Against something like the LG, which is an Android Wear watch, you'll see that it's much slimmer than um, Android Wear. Of course, this does pack a lot of features and is you know, quite a premium product, but this doesn't have the continuous heart rate tracking, which is kind of disappointing, really. One of the other cool features is being able to um, lift your wrist and activate the time, so you don't have to press any buttons. However, one of the kind of the key features of this is the um, the app and the continuous heart rate monitoring. So the app here, which if I zoom in, um, you can see that this has now been um, tracking my heart rate um, today actually. So you have some of the features it has is the you know general step tracking, which I found to be quite good. Um, this seems to be pretty uh, on par with. Android Fit, although it doesn't seem to have Android Fit integration, but of course your phone has its own set of sensors, so you'll get a few more steps on this because your uh, fitness band is obviously always on you, and it will pick up some extra steps, which you can see here. Um, if you click on some of these, you can see a bit more of a, a detailed uh, rundown. Um, now, interestingly, if you see here at 6 p.m. today, where I was walking home and, you know, having counting up a lot of steps here, 1,300, to show how well the heart rate sensor is actually working, I'll go back on that, um, you can actually see here this spike here in the heart rate sensor. So you can see this actually tallies up when I was actually um, exercising or you know walking home, so this actually goes to show how well this this actually you know does work. It will show your steps, it will show your heart rate. I've not had to track any of this manually, and you know it's a really nice feature which I'm just really disappointed my um, LG Urbane doesn't pick up. So I was kind of really curious about how well continuous heart rate. Um, logging would work and I'm, I'm I'm quite surprised by this actually works pretty well uh, let me go to yesterday and you can see here this is all yesterday's stats and 
Yeah, that, that's pretty impressive. I've actually um, swapped the sensor, swapped the uh, the fitness band onto a different phone so I can video this review. And surprisingly, it has brought over all of the stats. So if you're swapping between devices, um, it does back it up and stuff. Now, the blood pressure monitoring, which um, I don't know how accurate this is. I don't, I'm not going to make any claims. If you look at other reviews where they've compared this to blood pressure monitoring devices, um, they seem to be, you know, pretty accurate considering like how small they are. That's that's pretty impressive. So maybe I'll do a review on um, the blood pressure monitoring, but you know, it's more the fact that you know you've got the 24 hour um, monitoring. Um, I guess the spike in the blood pressure there at about don't know if you can see that. Is that like eight o'clock or something? Yeah, that's probably me getting on, the, you know, the train and uh, on my way to work. So I probably, probably did actually have quite high blood pressure, actually. I'm sure going to work is uh, going to cause that. Now, of course, you have um, manual heart rate sensing, which, you know, you can do on here. Um, nothing actually to give away that anything's happening on the actual device. But this will, if you just, you know, want to know your heart rate there and then, um, this will give this to you. Um, you can also do this with the uh, the blood pressure monitoring. You can do on-demand monitoring on the actual device as well. Um, you know, you have the option of doing it on the uh, the fitness band or the actual phone, but I find this to be a lot easier um, if you have your phone on you. So, you know, if you just want to monitor it manually, um, just to, you know, check you feel like your heart rate's a bit, a bit high, which mine seems to be pretty high at the moment. I'm going to stop that. Um, and then you have the option of logging out. But of course, because it's 24 hours, um, you don't really need to manually, you know, keep clicking on that. So if you'd like to, you know, keep tabs on your uh, heart rate, if you've got the uh, the Mi Band and, you know, you're always checking that, then, um, you know, continuous heart rate monitoring is uh, to have it all automatically logged is, you know, a pretty good feature. Um, also, this sleep tracking, I, I think is actually pretty, pretty good. Um, I think it's where I've been using it for the last few days, I found that these times to be quite accurate. Um, you know, give or f take a few minutes. So I actually got up at 7am today. That seemed to automatically figure, you know, I was up at about 7. Um, and I did go to bed by about, you know, 20 past 11 or half past 11. So that's quite impressive. Um, the fact that it figures all this out. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think I had a particularly great sleep. So I guess I, you know, I think the deep and the light sleep split. I think is pretty, you know, pretty accurate as to how bad my sleep was last night. Um, and again, here it's worked out automatically. The um, the time I got up. So this was a weekend, and I, you know, slept in till nine. 9am um, and you know this is all logged automatically you don't have to tell it you're going to sleep you don't have to like if you ever use those sleep apps you have to put them under your pillow and say hey I'm, I'm going to sleep this is all just just kicks in um, as soon as you get into bed it will start logging your sleep I don't know how it does that I don't have to tell it I don't you know I don't click on anything or just start logging it so as you can see here the app is actually pretty good um, I don't know how up to date this will be because uh, obviously this doesn't have any Google Fit integration. However, the developers have said, you know, they're looking to, you know, keep updating this um, with new functionality. To their credit, though, as soon as I took this out of the box, it did have a firmware update. So I'm not sure what features that brought you, but um, I guess, you know, they good on their word and they are updating it. So... I'm actually, you know, pretty impressed by this. Um, one of the other headline features of this, which I thought was actually really, really useful, which I'll show on the box here because it's, this is an absolute pain to get the straps off, is uh, this has the USB charging port as part of the actual band. So you don't need a cradle for this. Um, you don't need to go and... I mean, the battery life was, you know, pretty good, actually. I've not had to charge this once. In fact, this wasn't even sent to me fully charged, and the battery on it is, you know, still pretty pretty good. If I zoom in on that, will that tell me? No. 
you know, it's about 75% full, as we can see there. So the battery on life is, you know, is pretty good. Um, if you had something like, you know, the LG, um, I have to charge this every night. Um, so I don't get any sleep tracking because in the morning this will be, you know, completely dead or 10% left. Um, whereas, you know, this guy just seems to keep going on and on and on. But you actually, you don't have to care now about, oh, I'm going to go to a friend's house. I'm going to go and go on holiday for a bit. Do I need to bring my cradle? Um, do I have to make sure this doesn't run out when I get to work? Because you just take the straps off and... You can just charge it on your computer or any, you know, any USB. Um, by the way, this is obviously the box. Um, I've already unboxed it in case you're particularly interested. Um, a much nicer picture than the actual, you know, device. By the way, you can change these. That's why this is a different color. So you can change the style and if you want more of an analog looking clock, you can do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I might try and take the straps off a minute, but I thought I'd show you the box first because it... Yeah, a really nice feature which you know you don't you don't have to um you don't normally get you know the me band has the uh you know you have to take the whole me band out to get the uh the thing to charge which is kind of a nuisance which i'll do then you hope that you don't break it apparently that's one step um, and of course something the urbane then you know you have the magnetic uh charging so it's a really nice feature um, one of the other things I really do like about this is the actual proper watch grip uh, clasp. Whereas more of the cheaper bands, you have the uh, you know, this kind of like buckle mechanism, which I find to be quite difficult. It's 